Welcome to session two. Remember we said the three major focus areas of all the movements here are going to be the ankle, the hip and the shoulder joint because mobility in these three areas are extremely, extremely important for us to age gracefully and also age without injuries. But apart from the three major areas, we will also focus on getting a good workout. Are you ready? Let's begin. First movement is the age-old squat. Instructions first and then we do this together. Keep your feet shoulder width apart. Now choose to keep your toes pointed or maybe a little on the outside. Chest up, back straight, go all the way down on the floor. Push your knee out using your elbows and hold for about two to three seconds and up. At all points, your feet are gonna be flat on the ground. Do not raise the heel. Are we ready? One minute, non-stop and go. Down, push your knee out, feet flat on the ground, up, go down, and up. Keep moving at your own pace. This is brilliant for your ankle mobility to keep those knee joints mobile and also for your hips. Keep that back straight. Keeping the back straight will also work heavily on the entire spine will help you keep that spine healthy but all the weight on the heel don't move forward keep moving keep moving at your own pace but down and up keep a squat come on 10 seconds to go you may feel a little burn around the quads but that's okay just a little one last one, come on. And down. The second movement is the deep lunge. Instructions first and then we do this together. Right foot forward, left foot back, left knee down. Interlock your fingers and push it up to the ceiling. Now, you go up, okay, and as you go down, arch your back, opening up the hip flexor. We go up and we go down. Are we good? 30 seconds on each side and go. Sink your hips down, lean forward, open those hip flexors and rise up. Keep going. Inhale and exhale. As you sink down, you'll feel those hips really open up. Chest upright, back straight. Only a slight arch when you go down. Arms pointing to the ceiling. Come on. And change side. And go. Down and up. The back leg can be extended when it comes up. Arch the back a little bit when you go down, giving a better stretch for the hip flexor. Come on. Almost there. Feeling good. And done. Third movement is child's pose with arm raise. So down on the floor, drop your hips down all the way, touching the heel. Arms out, head down. Now, turn your arms around where your palms are facing the ceiling. Head down. Now, we're going to hold this position for one minute. But when we hold this, we're going to raise one arm, hold for about three to five seconds, drop it down, and then raise the other arm. Okay? You ready? One minute. And go. Hold the child's pose. Your palms facing the ceiling, elbows down. Now raise one arm up. Hold and down. Raise the other arm up. And down. Switch. Keep switching the hands at your own pace. You can count one to five if you need to. At all points, palms facing the ceiling. That's when you'll really feel the work happening around your elbow joint and shoulder joint. Also engaging the scapula, the upper back. Come on. Doing good. 
I can feel the burn around my shoulders. 10 seconds to go, come on. Palms facing the ceiling. Almost there. And done. Round two, movement one, squat. You ready? One minute on the clock and go. Hold for two to three seconds at the bottom most squat and up. Keep moving. Use your elbows to push that knee out. And down. All the weight on the heel. Back straight. Chest upright. Look forward. And keep moving up and down. Come on. At your own pace. The squat is the most fundamental and the foundational movement of fitness. Very, very important for you to master this movement before you move on to any kind of exercise. Keep moving. Doing good. 10 seconds to go. You can even sit for eight to 10 seconds in the deep squat if required. And done. Your second one is the deep lunge. 30 seconds on either side. Are we ready? Right foot forward, interlocked arms, arms up to the ceiling and in the lunge position. Go down, arch your back, come up. Keep going. Inhale and exhale. As you come up, straighten the legs. As you go down, bend both your knees, arch your back to feel a deeper stretch of the hip flexor. No hurry, at your own pace. Almost there. Chain side. And down. You can hear my hip flexors talk to me. Saying thank you for stretching me well. Keep going, eyes on the front. Doing good. We're in our second round. Come on. And down. Third movement is the child's pose with the arm raise. Down. This is your time to kind of relax a little bit. Hips down. Palms facing the ceiling. And go. One minute. Head down. Now raise one arm up as much as you can. And switch hands. Remember to keep those palms facing up towards the ceiling at all points. Keep switching the arms. You must also feel some amount of work on the wrist here. Helping with wrist mobility. You know how tight your wrist can get with all the computer work, the mobile work, constant texting. Now this one's helping you mobilize the wrist as well. Arms facing up, don't turn it around. 10 seconds to go. Doing good. Inhale and exhale. And done. Round three, movement one, squat. Last round, ready? One minute and go. All the way down. Use your elbow to push your knee out. Hold, breathe and up. Again, down again. Come on. I'm gonna spend a little more time in that deep squat. Chest up, back straight. Working the ankle. Getting it used to taking the load it is supposed to because when the load on the ankle reduces, the knee takes a hit. We don't want that. Almost there. Push that knee out, weight on the heel. Breathe. 10 seconds. Come on, just give me two, okay? Last one. And 
done. The second one is the deep lunge, 30 seconds on each side. You ready? Start with the lunge, arms up and go. Up and as you go down, arch your back. The arch is not mandatory. If you can do it, yes, you must. If you do not want to, it's okay. But try to push your hips in front, opening the hip flexors. You can stay down for a few more additional seconds. Oh, doing good. And switch side. And down. And up. I'm going to hold at the bottom position a little longer to give my flexor a little more work. Breathe, inhale and exhale. Come on. And up. Almost there. And done. The third one. Go down. Child's pose with arm raise. You ready? Head down. Turn the arms around, palms facing the ceiling, and go. Raise it up, and down. While you raise one arm up, the other one, ensure it's down on the ground, elbows touching the ground. Inhale and exhale. Doing good. Palms facing up to the ceiling. Don't change that any point, that's the key. Feeling the burn, we're almost there. Finish line. Extend your hand out. 10 seconds to go, hold strong, stay with me. At your own pace. Hold for three seconds, five seconds, eight seconds, and done. Well done. I hope you're feeling it as much as I am in my entire body. Now, the ankle is designed to take a lot of load. You see how you're standing on your feet and your ankle is taking the entire body weight, right? Now, when your ankle gets weak, the load transfers to the knee, which is unnecessary, and then the knee starts to give you a lot of pain. Hence, the need for your ankle to be extremely flexible and mobile. And that's what we're doing with movements like this. Good work there. You take care and we'll see you in session three.